and knew it for the search for an elderly man who has been missing for two months is now part of a fire investigation. It's a new addition to a complicated case involving a Memphis family. Now, the missing man's nephew is now facing charges. He's right here. I uh, got a chance to talk to the man who's missing daughter as this investigation continues to unfold. A charred roof, smoke damage, and an open front window. A South Memphis house fire, the latest twist, and an ongoing nightmare for Carla Jackson, who talked to us from Atlanta. These last past two months have just been, to be honest, it's been hell for me. It has. It's, it's been a lot. Last night, I cried all night long. Jackson hasn't seen or heard from her 73-year-old dad in two months. Samuel Finney was last seen on August 2nd while living in this home with his nephew. I want to know where my dad is or what happened to him. Finney's nephew and caregiver at the time, Christopher Collins, is now charged with assaulting Finney one day before he disappeared. The report details how Collins allegedly grabbed him by the shirt and dragged him out of the house. And on May the 7th, when Chris picked him up from Georgia, I specifically said, Chris, make sure you take care of my dad up there. All right, cuz I got you. And then you do this. Memphis police say Collins also withdrew money from Finney's bank account multiple times since he's been missing. That math ain't mathing to me. As for who set the fire at Collins and Finney's home, Memphis Fire Department says the investigation continues. I want to know where my dad is. That'll give me relief. That's the only relief. I'm still not at ease about any of this. Definitely a hard time for that family. Now, Collins is due back in court on Monday, and Jackson says that she is pushing for his bond to not be reduced.